There are many different reasons why you train hard, but don't look like you lift. And one of them is perspective. For example, if you compare me to Chris Bumstead, the current Mr. Olympian classic physique, he's been training a year longer. But put him beside me, and I look like I don't even lift. He said he added 10 pounds of muscle on his back alone last year. This doesn't include the muscle he's added to the rest of his body. I might have added two pounds to my entire physique. You might be saying, why are you comparing yourself to Chris? He has superior genetics, may be the best in the world, and he's enhanced. A natural lifter can't compete. This is my point exactly. When you think you don't look like you even lift, who are you comparing yourself to? A fitness YouTuber who you don't even know if he's natural or not? You should be comparing yourself to your last progress pictures. Now, if you're actually taking progress pictures and month after month, nothing changes, then we need to look a little deeper. First and foremost, you need to follow a training program and stick to it from beginning to end. You could do a simple one like strong lifts, or you could take one of the workouts I have on this channel and progress it as I explain in the videos. To progress, you need to be training hard enough and frequently. Maybe you don't miss a workout for a week, then only get one in over the next two weeks before finally getting another full week. This infrequent training isn't going to build a lot of muscle. When we're working out, we have to train hard enough. The repetitions that build muscle are those last few before failure, and people are notoriously bad at predicting how close to failure they're at. A study published in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research asked 160 healthy weight training men what their 10 rep max was doing bench press. Then after a warm up, they had them rep out to failure with this weight. On average, the men could do a total of six more reps than they said they could, falling short of the effective rep range to build muscle which starts three or four repetitions before failure. I go to technical failure, which is the final repetition you can do with good form on the last set of every exercise, and use this information to program my next workout, keeping each set in the effective rep range. One way you can tell you're getting close to failure is by looking at your rep speed. The closer you get to failure, the longer it takes to do a repetition, until the last slow grinding rep that tells you you have no more left. As you become more familiar with how slow your reps become, you'll be able to better predict when you're in the effective rep range. Most programs have an assigned rep range, and once you get to the upper end, it's time to increase the weight. There's a risk that in our quest to lift heavier and heavier, we start to sacrifice form or are no longer doing a full range of motion. Poor form leads to injury, and half reps leads to half the gains. The next part ties in with nutrition. You're making progress, but you can't see it because you're carrying too much body fat. When you're lean, it's a lot easier to see muscle growth. People often wonder if they should bulk or cut. My answer is, if you're under 15% body fat, it makes sense to be in a small calorie surplus. If you're over 15, I recommend putting yourself into a slight calorie deficit until you're below 15%. You can still build muscle as you lose this weight as long as you don't do an extreme cut aim to lose no more than a pound a week. Dirty bulking is killing your gains. I don't even like the term bulking. Getting fat does not build muscle. Most people use this as an excuse to eat too much and not even the right types of food. Being in a calorie surplus is different. You're strategically increasing the amount of food you're eating to minimize fat gain and maximize muscle growth. Make sure you're taking in an adequate amount of protein, fats, and carbs. As older guys, we've pretty much given up on our hard partying ways and have traded them for more responsibility and stress. Unfortunately, this can hurt our progress. When we're young, we often stayed up too late and drank too much on the weekends. Now, stress tends to keep us up and a few drinks helps us relax so we can go to sleep. Too little sleep with too much stress and alcohol will negatively affect our gains. We need to find ways to manage our stress better so we can get at least seven to eight hours of sleep every night. Now when it comes to what exercises we can do so we can look jacked over 50, watch this video next to find out what they are and keep working out while having fun. This is Lawrence from Fit and 50. We'll talk to you again in the next one.